Hey guys, gals, DJ Boyskin here, and I am here talking primarily to the console peasants. Yeah, I'm talking to you idiots who spent $500 on something that can't do more than media and gaming playback. And not really capable of doing much else. Uh, while me, a member of the PC Master Race, as you call it, I can play games, watch Netflix and YouTube and everything else. For about the same price as your little console. But not just the factor of that. Let's just say here, you're one of the poor schmucks that wait in line at lunch and spent your hard-earned money on a console at lunch. Mind you, bundles weren't a thing at lunch. So no... Game bundled in. So you pick one, one or two of the games from... Let's see here. You bought the Xbox One at launch. So... Um, also go by my state tax here. Oops. 499.99. Times 1.075, my state tax, 573.48. Alright, so we got 573.48 plus, I'd say about, oh, and you had to get your Game at launch. Oh god, where is the calculator on my Windows machine? Oh, there it is. Plus $64.48 for the game. Alright, you're up to $637.96. Now sure, you can't do Twitch streaming. But wait. If you want to play online, you have to pay about another... <laughs> oh, God. Another sixty-four. Another sixty-four dollars and forty-eight cents. Oh, we're up to seven hundred two dollars and forty-four cents already. That's the console with a Connect One controller. Your online subscription and one game. Let's just say here that game also has local couch multiplayer couch co-op. You're gonna need a second controller. And how much are controllers these days? What? 50 dollars I think. Let me look. Cause uh <laughs> Last I checked, they're still, hey guys, it is they're still pretty damn expensive these days, especially with those that do Bluetooth capability now. Um, Xbox One controller. Now, 
<laughs> and that's another 6448. Seven hundred sixty-six dollars and ninety-two cents. And hmm, let's say here you also, you know, you need to get. A uh, extra hard drive because let's face it, gamers, 500 gigs ain't enough for shit these days. Unless you're talking SSDs and just strictly putting Skyrim and a shit ton of mods, or GTA 5, and uh, I believe also. <laughs> so. Or at least a two terabyte external hard drive. You're already at eight hundred sixty-five dollars and eighty cents, and that's just for your game console. Now we'll go to PC Part Picker here, quick. <laughs> or um, yeah, we're going to PC Part Picker. Look at the current rig I'm running with right freaking now, okay? Because um, for the same cost. <laughs> If not less, you can get a decent, and I mean a decent, gaming rig get, that can also do your taxes, do your homework, browse the internet freely without having that extra $60 add-on for that thing called Xbox Live just to play your multiplayer games, unless you're playing something like World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XIV or Realm Reborn. That's the only equation where you're paying monthly, but, you know, you get my drift. Say fertsless. So here's my current rig. Seven hundred four dollars and sixty three cents. What have we got under the hood here? AMD eight eight seven six hundred three point. Well, it actually goes up to three point nine turbo, which that's always on anyways. We got a cooler master, and actually the AMD A eight seven six hundred. About seventy bucks plus tax. Um, cooler master Hyper two twelve Evo. Best damn CPU cooler in the world. $24.99. 25 bucks plus tax. The motherboard I got running right now. MSI. A78M. E35 Micro ATX FM2 Plus motherboard. $100 plus tax. Actually, I should probably add one more thing to this list because it's the Intermax Mighty Charger Card Reader. Um... 8 gig, single stick of memory, $48.04 from Amazon, plus tax. And then, I believe, yeah, three hard drives, we got a two terabyte, a one terabyte for game storage, and then a 
250 gig for my boot drive. Oz Helios 910 ATX mid tower case. EVGA 600B, 600 B, 600 watt, 80 plus bronze certified ATX power supply. Blu ray DVD drive, so I could play Blu ray movies if I wanted to. And Windows 10 Home. So, all of that together. Seven or four dollars and sixty-three cents, a hundred bucks less than your console at launch, with a game, extra controller, online subscription, and external hard drive for all the other games you're probably going to download. You catch my drift here? It's cheaper being a PC gamer. Plus, not to mention all the Steam sales, Origin sales, UPlay sales. You name it, it's out there. Plus, there's occasionally some really good free-to-play games. Free to play titles like League of Legends, World of Warcraft up to level 20, Guild Wars 2, another good MMO. I mean, yeah, you may have Warframe, which is also available on PC and looks a hell of a lot better. And, I mean, I'm going to state facts up and down the block here for you console peasants that don't know shit. And they're just sheeple to Microsoft's and Sony. I don't add Nintendo into that equation because they're their own thing. They're at least creative. And in fact, if I actually did a build correctly, I could probably make a mini ITX build out of a Nintendo Wii. I've seen people do it. Um, <laughs> so, you know. And at most, I'm only taking 299 watts, almost like 300. So, the, the power supply I currently have is like quite fucking overkill. But, you get my point. PC gaming is the better route. Because I'm not just that. You can... Well, I mean, that's not counting the keyboard and the mouse, but... These days, you can get a keyboard and mouse for hella cheap these days. Like 30 bucks? For a keyboard and mouse combo from Cooler Master. So, it's the Devastator keyboard and mouse. So there you go, you got no excuse. Plus, if you already got an Xbox 360 controller that, that's wired, plug it in. PS3, PS4 controllers, or Bluetooth. Got Bluetooth? Pair it. It's that simple. And in fact, you could have Steam launch when Windows turns on and logs in and goes straight into big picture mode. So then you have your little console-like UI. But then when you need to do stuff like taxes or homework, you can back out of that, go into your Word document viewer and your web browser, have it side to side, and, you know, get some work done. Don't try to tell me, oh, I could plug in a keyboard and mouse into my console and use Google Docs. Yeah, it's not that great. And plus, last I checked, I couldn't even access Google Docs on any of my consoles, actually. So, you can't make that excuse. So instead of investing in a game console, invest in a gaming PC. Well, you can actually make a decent HTPC, home theater PC, that can do about the same. Um, let's see here. 667 dollars! Let's see here. Yeah. I mean, you can get a Node 202, a low cost motherboard, an i3 processor. I mean, hell, look here Intel Streamer. This might be my upgrade. No, this isn't my upgrade, but 
This is just an example of what you could do. $517.91 here. According to all this stuff on PC Part Picker. See here. Core i5, 4460. 8 gigs RAM. Or, I mean, 16 gigs RAM. Twice as much as what your console has. A 1 terabyte hard drive. GTX 960, 4 gigs, super clocked. You know, in a nice case with a good power supply. And for what? $570. Once again, nearly 300 bucks less than a fucking console. And it can do all the same things. Console pensions. You have no excuse. You can build your own rig for about the same cost that would take you to get everything that you need to get your console really up and running. And let's see here. Nowadays, you actually have to install your games anyhow to the hard drive. So in that part, what's the point of consoles anymore? I remember back in the day when I first got the PlayStation 1, I didn't have to install shit. And I was like, oh, simple, easy. PS2, same thing. GameCube, same thing. 360, same thing. Right up until GTA 5. You know, PS3 had you installing stuff. And I'm like, what? Install? Console? That doesn't mix. I thought that was just a PC thing. You know? And, uh, just going to show you, console peasants, you can game on PC and get a decent streaming machine for a hell of a lot less than you would a game console to do the same exact fucking thing. And in fact, on PC, you could stream to multiple sources on your streaming software with Restream.io. You be streaming to both Twitch, Hitbox, and YouTube. All three at the same freaking time. As long as your internet can hold up, do it. Widen your audience. So, to the console peasants who say, Oh, PC gaming is expensive. You had to spend at least $1,000 to get a decent rig. Fuck no, you don't. I just proved your ass right here on PC Part Picker. That you can do this exact setup. And for less money than your console with an extra controller, game, subscription, and external hard drive. At launch. So, to all the poor schmucks. That bought the console at launch. Sucks to be you, I guess. Anyways, peace out. And don't mind the Ultimate Dreamer MSI build your own dream PC numbers. Because even with the higher cost of the system, you're spending less on the games, too. So peace out. And remember, console peasants... You're getting played by Sony and Microsoft, especially with them charging you a yearly subscription. Even though you say, oh, but we get these quote-unquote free games from them for a subscription. Do you really want to be paying, playing for multiplayer just to get those said free games? I don't think so. So, thank you for listening, and goodbye. Like, comment, and subscribe for more.